pregnant Duchess of Cambridge attends church in Molochote with Princes William and Philip. The royals braved the cold this morning to attend St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham. The pregnant Duchess, 35, dazzled in a long brown tweed coat with gold buttons and a matching fur hat to keep out the cold. Her legs were kept covered with thick black tights, and she finished the look-off with classic block heel shoes while her chestnut dresses were styled in loose waves. Kate is due to give birth in April, and just a hint of bump was visible under the coat. This isn't the first time thrifty Kate has stepped out in the elegant Moloch coat, having previously worn it to St. Mary Magdalene's for Christmas Day in 2014. The Duchess beamed as she headed into the church with her husband and the Duke of Edinburgh but without her two children Prince George, four, and Princess Charlotte, two. The trio laughed among themselves and joked with locals who waited out in the grounds of the church to see them. The Queen was photographed leaving the church after the service dressed in a magenta coat and matching hat. Kate and Wills are in Norfolk ahead of Princess Charlotte starting her £14,550 a year Kensington nursery this month, following their relocation to Kensington Palace last year. There was no sign of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry who jetted off to the French Riviera last week for a romantic break to celebrate the new year. Meghan had joined the royals at the church service on Christmas morning and stunned in a camel wrap coat by Canadian brand Centella and Chloe handbag. The Suits actress will wed Harry at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on May 19. The government announced today pubs opening hours would be extended to 1 a.m. for the weekend of the royal wedding. The Home Office is to begin a four-week consultation on the plan for the wedding of the year. Home Secretary Amber Rudd said, We want everyone to be able to make the most of such an historic occasion. The last time a similar measure was taken was for the Queen's 90th birthday in 2016.